President Trump appears to be backing off the hard line he took earlier this week on vaping and e-cigarettes. Okay, so last night, the president tweeted this, while I like the vaping alternative to cigarettes, we need to make sure this alternative is safe for all. Let's get counterfeits off the market and keep young children from vaping. Well, on Wednesday, Trump said he wanted to ban all flavored e-cigarettes, including mint and menthol, and that the FDA was working on plans to do just that. Here's our chief medical correspondent, Sanjay Gupta. If you've been following the vaping story, you, you realize that there's sort of two separate but related stories going on at the same time. With regard to the news out of the White House this week, uh, this was really about addressing the flavorings in these products, the concern being that those flavorings, uh, you know, target children and that children are more likely to vape. And we see the numbers, you showed the numbers, 2017, uh, around 11, 12% of kids vaping, and now you got closer to 27.5% of these kids that are vaping. Numbers may be even higher because, you know, you ask people if they vape or not, uh, they're not always honest about this. So it, it's, it's certainly extraordinary how much this has grown. But I wanna share another stat with you that I think is important, and that is, if kids start vaping, what is the likelihood then that they will go on to smoke actual cigarettes, combustible cigarettes? Take a look there. Um, this is what this is from the National Institute on Drug Abuse. This is probably one of the biggest concerns I think as a parent. Even if you think vaping maybe not as bad as as traditional cigarette smoking, I think you could make that argument. If they then go on, 30% uh, of them do go on to smoke combustible cigarettes. That's obviously a big concern, and that's something that needs to be addressed. And that's I think what's in part prompting this action coming out of the uh, the government, out of the White House and HHS. Separate issue really is this mystery illness. You know, uh, you know hundreds of people across the country, uh, people who's th these deaths now associated with vaping, that's a real concern. That's an ongoing investigation. So far, it looks like a lot of these products have come from these black market, oftentimes THC containing products. People vaping that, um, possibly getting one of these components that is, that is um, uh, sort of broken down into its molecules and then absorbed into the lungs, causing this inflammatory reaction. It is hard to correlate that directly with uh, these, these uh, nicotine products that are sold with the vaping devices. Uh, that is an ongoing investigation. But both of these things are really uh, what's driving the concern around vaping right now. I should point out again, as we've talked about before, Centers for Disease Control, American Medical Association, other big medical organizations say, for the time being at least, people should not use these e-cigarettes, should not use these devices. They gotta complete this investigation before maybe they would give the all clear on this, but that could be some time away.